Hi, Eloise Ansel here. This week I want to talk about are you making things easy for yourself? Hi, Eloise here. I'm an intuitive healer based in the UK. Hi. Uh, this week I wanted to talk about, as I sat down and tuned in, what do you all need to talk about? And what do I need to talk about? What do you need to know? What do we need to think about to heal? Um, <laughs> what came up was, are you making things easy for yourself? Now, I'm in the middle of my 21 days to ease series. And if you haven't joined in and you want to, whenever you're listening to this through time and space, you're more than welcome to join us. I haven't put the price up yet as I record this. So, because I haven't released the bonuses. <laughs> so pop it in the chat if you want to. Oh, well, I'll pop it in the chat, the link, if you want to come and join in with 21 Days of Ease. I recorded number 10 today. It was a really cool session. And if you're in 21 Days to Ease, still worth sticking around. But we're going to talk a little bit about what we were talking about there. So when we think about making things easy, we quite often think about in the here and now. But we also have to think about ease long term so we need to make this distinction and this is one of the distinctions that kind of came up in the e session today but not all of it so go and check it out <laughs> but like if i want to make things easy i can practically make things easy so i can look at my life and go okay what would bring more ease to me maybe for instance you have an area of your house where clutter appears. It's like an area where you just dump stuff. Well, if that's the case, put a bowl there or something to catch it all. Just make it easy. You know, like we can get into complicated land where we try and make ourselves put things into new places so that it looks good. But what are, what are you already doing naturally? Just kind of accommodate that. <laughs> so I have a little basket by my front door. And every time I come in, I empty all my pockets and all my stuff and I put it in that basket. So I know where my sunglasses are and my headphones and my keys and everything else. So even if in the middle of the night there's an accident, I have to scramble around for my stuff. I know exactly where it is. I put things in the same place and that just creates ease for me. And it stops me worrying about where things are and I don't have to go looking for my keys all the time. And I know exactly where they are. So that is an easy way to create ease in our lives is to look at where maybe things aren't working, but we could put a little system and process in place to make it work or where we're like things aren't working, but actually it'd be really easy to fix it. So look for those areas of your house where like clutter appears or things happen and how can you make it just a little bit more ease? So we can do that ease practically for the short-term things in our life. That's a practical way of creating ease. But sometimes we need to think about the long-term ease. So short-term, I might decide that something would be ease, like ease for me might be sitting on my sofa all day, just scrolling <laughs> on my phone and watching YouTube videos, that may be ease. And yes, some days my body needs that rest. I need to chill out. I need a duvet day. And I practically book those in. When I have a week off, I will always have a duvet day because my body quite often needs to rest. Now, if I get up on that day and I feel in the mood for doing stuff, I don't force myself to stay <laughs> on the sofa. But <laughs> but I quite often will book these days in as a little treat for me and my body. However, if I sat on the sofa every day, day in and day out, yeah, that would be ease, but not really long term. And this is the thing that we need to think about. We need to think about tomorrow us, future us and long term us, as well as us in the here and now. So exercise is a great example of this. I could sit on my sofa every day, never exercise, and that would be ease for my body in this moment. 
However, long term, if I'm not moving my body, if I'm not keeping it moving, well, lymph is going to struggle, that rubbish collector in your body. You need to walk for at least 10 minutes a day to get the body moving and get the lymphatics moving because it doesn't have a pump. So if I sit on my sofa every day for like months on end and never move, long term me is not going to have ease. I'm going to get disease in my body. I'm going to get tight i'm going to get um, my muscles are going to de deteriorate i can't say that today <laughs> long term me is going to be a mess because i've decided to sit on the sofa now i'm about to start running again watch this space when it actually starts but i have a goal for next year and i'm going to start running again now i know it's going to be painful to get going but i'm hoping it's going to be ease i'm asking for ease but I know short term, those first few runs, my body is going to go, what are you doing? Now, I am quite lucky, I dance a lot. So I do a lot of time on my feet. So it's just those muscles that I use in a different way when I run that are gonna be complaining. The rest of them are like, yeah, we've been doing this forever. <laughs> but there are gonna be muscles in my body and I have to push myself forward. Activity is going to create a you know, a new way of using my body, which I haven't used for a while. So it could, hoping not, but it could be a bit painful in the short term. But I know long term me is going to be fitter, it's going to be healthier, it's going to be happier, my body's going to have move, you know, have benefit from that exercise. And so long term me is going to be more flexible and more healthy and, 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 and. And so I'm willing to put in that little bit of pain now for that long term ease. Future me is going to love it. So this is a really key thing. We need to think about the long term ease as well as the short term. So putting things in place which create ease can be really beneficial. But is it beneficial long term as well? Me putting my basket by my front door is long term ease as well as short term ease. It's day to day ease forever. <laughs> so when you're trying to make a decision, you can tune in to you in the long term, be it like a year in the future, five years, 10 years, and ask, does this create more? Does this contribute to me? Does this create more ease? Is this a good thing for me? Now, Access Consciousness talk a lot about this. So I'll find a good video from one of them to talk about tuning into you in the dis in five years time, for instance, because it's a really key thing to, to be able to do when you're making decisions and things. And it's not just our body. I used exercise as an example, but we need to think about other things as well if we want to have ease. The only way I'm going to have ease in my body is to get rid of all my emotional clutter, get rid of all the emotions trapped in my body that are squirreled away, <laughs> get rid of those conflicts in my mind and those belief systems that are not serving me because with all of that locked in my body, my body is locked up. I'm not going to have flexibility. I'm not going to have ease in my body. So we need to think about clearing all of this out not just the ease in the here and now, but ease in the future. So if you're not getting some energy work, if you're not going to see some alternative therapist in some capacity, and yes, you can come see me if you want. Well, not actually see me because I do everything by distance. But anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> you need to be doing something for long term you as well. So I had two examples in clinic this week where I was tuning into the body and I was seeing something really horrible and I was like, Ugh. Um, but I know because I've done a session on them within the last six months, well, three months, month, whatever, um, that their bodies weren't looking like that a few weeks ago. So when I see things, I do see them exaggerated to catch my attention. And I am aware of that. But I was tuning into these areas of the body that were really struggling. And I was like, hmm. I think this is long term them showing me what the future would be like if we didn't clear this out in the here and now. Our bodies know what's going to happen long term. They know what to request in the short term to bring the most ease, not just now, but in the future as well. And we need to think like that as well. 
and we need to be doing doing the work in order to get rid of that constrictions get rid of those conflicts get rid of those dark deep belief systems which are causing all the problems which may not be causing us pain now but will in the future if we don't sort it out your body is clever it knows what order and sequence it wants to work on things for the greater good of you depending on how many sessions you can have when you can have sessions like your body will adjust and do the most bang for your buck if you like certainly the way i work in order to get the best benefits for you long term and short term so often in clinic i see myself doing stuff and i know it's preventative stuff for the future and that is as key as the stuff now so yeah i can go and get a massage i can keep exercising i can do all the good things i can drink gallons of water every day well don't drown yourselves but <laughs> do all the good things that I'm supposed to be doing but if I still got the belief systems and all of that crap it's a technical term in my body I'm going to get problems at some point so where are you creating ease for yourself now that may not have ease for you later on where are you making things difficult for yourself short term and long term we need to think about both and yes, we could die tomorrow, and it's all about balance. <laughs> I can't restrict and be really, you know, just all, all work, 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 or whatever it is now for the benefit of the future. Because if the future doesn't come, well, I've, you know, it'll be a bit of a waste. <laughs> it's like my business. I know I'm in a period where I have to work in my business for long term benefits. It is a marathon, not a sprint. And I know that, and I'm willing to put in some work now, but that doesn't mean I work 24 seven and never have a break and don't have any fun. It's about balance, but I know where I'm prioritizing myself, not just for the short term ease, but for the long term as well in my business. So you've got to think about your body, you've got to think about your income, you've got to think about everything. I can't spend like every penny in my bank account every month and expect long term me to be grateful. You know, it's about balance, you know. There's going to be times when you spend money and there's going to be times when you're like, oh, I'm going to save. But we need to tune into future us to know what, what the impact will be. So, today's question. Where are you creating ease for yourself? Where are you making things difficult for yourself? Short term and long term. We really need to think about these things. So, if you want to book a session or find out more about my sessions i will link a video below you can watch me talk about what i can and can't help you with because i can do sessions on loads of things and obviously if you want to clear out some of the clutter in your body feel free to book <laughs> i have a limited availability before christmas now but in the new year i have some time to do sessions so book in for that i'm cooking up some good stuff for the new year some stuff bubbled today i was like oh yay so uh, watch out for more excitement if you want to have more ease in your life and body. And wishing you a great week. I will be back next Monday. Like, subscribe, do all the things, comment if you if you like this channel. Let's help get it get me, well, the channel of me <laughs> out to more people. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff, and I will love you forever. And meanwhile, have a great week and start looking at your life where you're making things difficult for yourself, both short term and long term. Okay, have a great week. Bye.